Okay, here's the first test run of the hydro fuel cell which I picked up from these guys in Greenville, Tennessee. And they are the Hydro Club USA. Very good deal, nice little unit. The fuel cell is tucked down by the radiator, right in front of the radiator. With the reservoir also in front of the radiator. And then we have the bubbler mounted next to the radiator inside the compartment. There is a one-way valve for backfires and a shutoff valve in case I need to shut it off. In this case, I'm just turning it on. Then it goes to the bottom of the air cleaner, well, actually the intake, where they fit in. I mixed up one tablespoon of hydroxide, which I picked up on the web down in Florida. I filled the unit up by pushing the uh, electrolyte or whatever they call it into the fuel cell and back into the bottle. This way all the air bubbles should be out of the bottle. I am running 5 amps. Working point three volts. And this is connected to the fuel cell. Well, the best guy can ask is wait and see how this thing goes. On the interior, I also have another amp gauge. And it is showing 5 amps. There's also a switch going to, directly to the ignition on, which I can turn off. And you notice the amps are now back to zero. Turn it on. It's kind of a cute switch. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's actually a skull. Nice for some nice explosive hydrogen. Hopefully I won't need it. <laughs> I also have an ultra gauge which I will be checking my mileage, miles per gallon, and other information needed. So that's about it for the first running of the hydrogen's fuel cell from Hydro Club USA in Greenville, North Carolina. The manual is fantastic. There's a lot of information in here. You cannot make a mistake if you read. And I don't always read. But it is bubbling. It shows I am getting hydrogen bubbles. I don't know if you can see that. I guess so. In the bubbler, I have just distilled water. It comes from the top of the reservoir to the bubbler. And there's a few pop bubbles popping in there. Comes out this hose and into the intake. That's it.
I'll have an update when it's running really good. Goodbye.